it's time to lower the AC because it's blowing, it's summer and it's really hot. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Amy from Penventure. Welcome to a presentation of our latest added brand. It's been months of work and I am so, so eager to show you our latest added brand. Despite being summer and usually with summer, it is a little bit of stress in packing everything and we are setting up for the Dutch pen show. See you there. If you're coming, drop by and say hi and uh, see the, the pens from the brand that I'm gonna showcase today. I said I wouldn't go and pick up the merchandise and pack it before showing you this tray of pens and also tell you a little bit more regarding this uh, new brand. We at Pen Venture have a plan so at the beginning of the year we sit down with the team members and we make a plan this is the brands that we want to add this is the brands in this period and this is the pants from that brand and so on the brand that we have today it's one of those type of a brands that we call them our wild card something new something unique something niche something that it's not available everywhere and we are so happy that we had nailed this collaboration let's let, let's not prolong this for too much time i have my laptop here usually uh, it's it's in front right there but being so stressed for this one i'm going to use some information from the official website the brand that we just recently added is ap limited editions it's a brand which is very known for their urushi works and let's hear the story behind them ap limited editions is founded by anuj Udar, which originates from India. It's a wonderful gentleman. We had a few video calls in between us and me and him clicked together and we have been putting up this partnership for the past few months. All of the details and everything. The gentleman, it's an avid pen collector, which his fascination with fountain pens started at around age nine when he discovered penmanship. And to be honest, I was the same because as soon as my mom was able to uh, get me in the car and uh, drove me to the first library because there was a display case with some fountain pens for sale. And I still remember the day because I was just about to start school. And uh, in Romania, first grade, you have to have a fountain pen with a nib and you actually get grades on how nice you write with the fountain pen. So if you put up a test and everything gets spelled correctly and everything, but your penmanship, it's not top notch, you get your scores at the test lower because it's important to have a beautiful handwriting. And my mom took me with her in order to shop for the beginning of the school year. And there it was a display with some fountain pens. And I said, mom, I really want this. I really, really, really want this. And she bought me the first fountain pen. I am still having that fountain pen. It's back home. And since then I've discovered this craving for writing instruments. And throughout the years, it materialized in everything that I call today Pen venture. So you can see that me and Anuj, we have so much things in common and we clicked and those video calls were like a very nice conversation with a person that understands me 100% and I understand him 100%. Anuj founded in uh, USA after he emigrated there, the AP Limited Edition company, which actually got founded on uh, February 19 in 2006 in the Los Angeles California region, his vision and passion to produce perfect writing instruments. For this to be possible, he got in contact with some Urushi artist in Japan. It's, it's, it's a story that it's so deeply rooted in what I seek to offer at Pen Venture because each and every single pen from AP Limited Editions, it's going to support the artist in Japan offering his work, his legacy in regards of Urushi fountain pens. They are known to have some of the most wildest Machie works that I've seen from other companies in regards of Urushi fountain pens. But right now we just touched briefly on their entry collections, uh, their entry fountain pens, which display my style of Urushi, something which I consider to be Taminuri, uh, one technique, something to show off uh, a, a basic, basic Urushi technique, which I 
just cannot wait to show you because the case is right here and those fountain pens are staring at me. Enough is enough with the history lesson, with the information regarding the company. If you want to know more about them, I'm gonna link uh, down below their website. You can check there and see the entire lineup of fountain pens that they have. And to be honest, they have some crazy maquillage. Give it a search and see for yourself. And we are gonna focus on what we've brought at PenVenture for all of you. Before going there, let me show you their presentation. This is the kind of box that they uh, deliver their fountain pens in. To be honest, this is a very, very beautiful presentation for such a product. We have AP limited editions on top of the box embossed with this copperish gold uh, motif. And inside, like with so many Urushi creations, we have a wood box. I believe this is Paulonia AP on the top. Opening inside, you will find this nice space where that Urushi fountain pen will rest. And right here in the lid, you will find the envelope, which is beautiful, beautiful. Let me tell you that this is oozing style and it's just embossed with AP limited editions. And inside for each fountain pen, this is for the prop lid fire fountain pen, you will have the worldwide lifetime warranty card for that fountain pen with the certificate of authenticity. And there aren't too many fountain pens out there that offer a lifetime warranty. And you have this limited edition card, congratulations. You have acquired one of the exclusive AP limited editions, number six of 63. And you have here the signature of the artist who created this beautiful fountain pen. Then you have some information regarding the actual technique and everything that is in that Urushi lacquerware, some information how you would fill the fountain pen with some ink, how you would wash it, how to care for it, and how to maintain it in great condition. Are you ready to see our lineup of writing instruments? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna open the website right here because I would need some information regarding the names and everything, but this is where we are. This is how it's looking. This is the tray with the fountain pens. Right here on the left, we have the prop lid fire fountain pen. This is a beautiful, beautiful Urushi lacquer. I believe it's Akata Minuri. It's this uh, very nice brownish caramel over red with some sparkles of gold. This very bamboo-like clip, which is gold plated. And the nib on this is a beautiful size six gold nib, 14 karat, and uh, it is stamped right here, AP. And on the left shoulder, right here at the base, we have the nib size broad. So this nibs are available in the following sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a fine flex. Right now in stock, all of them. The beautiful thing regarding this nibs is the fact that you can remove them by just simply untwisting them from the section like this, and you can take them out. This is how they look. And this is very, very nice because basically you can wash this fountain pen very, very good, very easy. You can have interchangeable nib sizes. If you have two or three of these fountain pens, you can actually take one of the nibs out and you can put it in a different fountain pen. And we have a plug in I believe this is standard international cartridge converter. So you can use it with cartridges, standard international cartridges. But also I believe if you use some grease on the threads, you can actually eyedropper convert this fountain pen. So this is the Proplet Fire, beautiful writing instrument available on the PenVenture website. You will find the links down below. This Proplet Fire is part of a limited edition of only 63 fountain pens. Although it's the name AP limited editions. Not all fountain pens are limited edition from AP, but I'm sure that they are limited production at best, all of them. And some, there are limited editions and you will find the serial number for this fountain pen. Moving further, we have two examples of beautiful Taminuri. Taminuri is actually a technique in Rushi lacquerware where we use two colors, like for example, the base coating, which is more colored. And on top, we use an Rushi which is a little bit more dark. And at the edges, just like you would watch inside a pond, you will see that in the middle of the pond where the water is a little bit deeper, you would see only black or uh, a translucent foggy color of the bottom of the 
pond and at the edges you will see that beautiful beautiful coloring more vivid because the water is not that deep and you can actually see uh, through that water and this is Tamil Nuri, which is that technique describing these two beautiful, beautiful fountain pads. And we have Tamil Nuri green and Tamil Nuri yellow. To the best of my knowledge, uh, you can put it like this, Midori Tamil Nuri on the green and uh, Toki Tamil Nuri on this yellow, because actually this is more close to commercial name of this uh, Urushi coating. Don't take me on everything that I say is just from past experience and I may be mistaken. Anyway, look at that color changes at the edges. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit more because we have a lot of things to show on these two Taminuri creations. Look at this. We have the clips which are also painted in the Urushi coating matching the fountain pen and look at that transition of color. This is stunning if you ask me. This is the sort of a detail that you would want on your Urushi fountain pens. You would actually feel every single thing that the Urushi artist intended to show you on this fountain pens and in time with use this color is going to get darker or it's going to mellow in some places with use with exposure to light and you would have a fountain pen which actually it's it's natural it's changing it's dynamic it's just like you just like the nature of humanity it's going to actually age together with you so this is the beautiful thing regarding this fountain pen and have a look at the color transition on the section and at the threads it's incredible each fountain pen it's crafted from ebonite ebonite being the top material to use for uh, Urushi works and Urushi lacquerware and it is stunning. The fountain pens are light. We have a fountain pen which is approximately around 25-28 grams. In regards of length we are talking about 14 centimeter, 142 millimeters around there which is not large. It's comparable to let's just say a Momento Magico in regards of length. I have it right here. You can check this out. If I put the cap like this, you have a more vivid idea of their size. It's actually very, very similar to such a fountain pen. So we are talking about a true grail pen, which is not that large, and it's uh, displaying some of the most traditional and beautiful Urushi lacquerware. Moving further, we have this stunning fountain pen and here is where we go a notch up and let me get the name right for this creation. This is the AP Limited Editions Lunar Sears and it's this beautiful black surface and this Urushi, uh, it, it's supposed to mimic the actual surface of the moon, the craters, the, the, the actual uh, texture of the moon and to be honest, it's there. It's, it's, it's very, very interesting and we have contrast in between the texture of uh, the, the satin black and also this charred black and it's amazing to be honest. Uh, it's, it's, it's looking very very nice. And then we go further and we have two fountain pens from the same collection. This is the AP Limited Editions Color of the Cosmos and um, it's a limited edition part of only 63 fountain pens and we have this stunning stunning blue this is called Spica displaying some gold specks and it's so so nicely distributed throughout the fountain pen this uh, gold uh, sparkles it's it's just unbelievable and right here on the back you will find the signature of the artist and the limited edition number on top you will have the AP logo on top of the finial and the black one right here it's called Interstellar. Interstellar is one of my most favorite movies of all time and when I hear Interstellar I'm pausing and it's one of those fountain pens which captivated me with their name and uh, th how they look and this is equipped with a flexible fine point and uh, you can see that the name it's just having this very very long slit and uh, this is a little bit more flexy. The feeder on all of these fountain pens is just simply ABS plastic. The nibs are made by Bok and uh, I have here a spare nib unit and I want to show you the actual way that you would find the nib to be. Right here stamped 14 karat 585, which is the gold content, but being that it is stamped a little bit lower when the nib is basically housed like it's supposed to be 
you wouldn't see that 14 karat 585. This is not the only nib that you can have on an AP fountain pen. They have actually size 8 gold nibs made by Bach, but those are based on fountain pens which are a little bit larger and uh, exclusively on Machie, if I'm not mistaken, series of fountain pens. We are for sure looking forward to add them in a few months when you would be familiarized with this brand and you will be more open to such creations from AP on our website. I think that's it. I hope you like that we are moving forward and continuing to add new things, new interesting fountain pens like the ones that we've showed you today. Let us know your uh, opinion and suggestions regarding what shall we add more on our website. Let me know if you own an AP fountain pen, what is your feedback regarding this brand and if you like what I've showed you, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to share a conversation with you in the comment section. Thank you so much for staying so long on this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And our content will be presented to more passionate individuals just like you if you help us grow. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the details for the PenVenture website. And there you will have also my contact details. If you have any questions regarding your next purchase, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you are not subscribed and if you want to help us to grow the PenVenture YouTube channel, subscribe right now. It's very easy. It's not going to take uh, too much of your time. Just click there, turn on the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. If you want to continue watching my content, I'm gonna leave you this video right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Henry from Pen Venture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.